Let's talk about original figures and why would I buy one? Well, I guess if the illustration looks good, a 3D figure of her will be great. We have today Iris Inoue by Alios Arvin. Okay guys, this is a lewd figure in a cast off. And if an artwork looks good, I will buy it. Do check out Alios Arvin. I like particularly his works on Inoue and we will get straight to unboxing. I'm really digging this box that looks like a printer and talking about printers, I'm starting to decorate my shelves and I think I got to get a printer to print some background posters. Between boxes which has a window and boxes without, I'm sure we like box with windows so without opening the boxes, we can still look at our purchases. Well this box doesn't have any window and it's kinda thick, so I guess it will last for a long time. The instruction sheet here today is more for you guys, we see there's a parts list and there is an extra torso. A few pieces of 1-6 papers to be used with the photocopier and we do have some under hair decals. I won't explain more about this but you know what to do with them. Included is a background too. Well, I guess we can use it to take pictures but it is kind of difficult to use on the main shelf where we keep our grails because it spoils the overall aesthetics on the shelf. There is really an optional chest piece in the box but since it is an alternate body with a lot of skin, I won't be using it for the whole video. Really slim top, you notice that the hands are reused on both torsos. The most notable details here are the laces. With the details on the bra, I also like the creases on the shirt. It definitely accentuates reality but at least it is not overdone and looks quite good. And of course, what is under my fingers is up to your imagination and in this channel, I wouldn't want to break any terms of services. base, nicely tiled, everything is assembled in one piece. You would think that the indentation allows you to fit the copy onto the floor, but no. Otherwise the base is made with a thin material so it bends slightly, not the best thing to happen to anyone. I think this is kinda bad. The copier, I mean it does impress me quite a little because of the amount of details on it but on the other hand, it is also very light and squarish. In this hobby, if it's a prop we don't have, it is very much welcome and would probably end up as a diorama on the shelf. I do like this great addition of a photocopying machine because I don't have one in my collection. I'm gonna say the head sculpt is spectacular. I guess there are things that you can already see, like the detailed sculpted hair, the straightness in the spectacles. We really do have a very, very rare nose in this figure because anime figures usually don't have detailed noses, and I'm liking it. But what makes this head so spectacular is. Whichever angle you rotate the head, it just looks good. I'm surprised because many sculptors will just pay attention to a few angles. The torso is the same as the alternate one and I guess it needs no further introduction but the watch looks really great. I'm surprised they even came out with the dial details but I would love to say that the hands 
even if you can't see it, it's a little too flexible. Well, you see, the posture on Inoue san makes it a huge risk. The risk is the figure is probably going to bend over time. And if we allow the hands to support the figure on the copy machine, the hand might bend over time too. I'm laughing at this because what we're getting right here is a thinking time bomb. The bombs, nice shape and zip details. The cast off skirt is made so well that when you reattach it seems it feels almost seamless. At this point in time, I'm quite impressed by Viberstar here because the paint job so far has been very immaculate. It really breathes life into this figure. I wasn't so sure if it can even happen until I see it with my very eyes. This is my first Vibrastar figure. There is a little opening in the crotch where you have to use your imagination to know what is happening. What I like about this figure is the amount of creases used to make the figure so lifelike, especially this one at the knees. Shoes are simple, but it does the job. I am glad we got to do a figure by Virusta because they really blew my mind on this one. If you have stayed till the end, if you like our videos, do hit the notification icon and subscribe to us for more figure unboxings. We'll be doing Sidonian no Kishi and I will see you next week. Peace out. And don't bust your wallets.